In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send a zip file to someone on Google Drive. So this is fairly easy, but let's get started. So first you need to find your files and then make them a zip file. So I'm going to open up my file explorer. You can go and find your files that may be on your desktop or in your documents. But for me, I'm going to zip a folder which contains two files, one video file and one audio file. So here are my files. So really get all your files into one folder. Then what you need to do is make a zip file. There are a couple of ways you can do this. You can right click and then go new. And then you can go ahead and create a zip file by clicking compressed zipped folder. This is in Windows 11. Or you can highlight your files. Then once you've got them highlighted, then right click, then go compress to, then we'll go zip file. So I'll do it this way. You can do it whatever way you want. Either way though, it's going to create a zip file, which you can then rename. I'm just going to call this files. Now here we are in files. What we need to do now is get this compressed zip file into Google Drive and then share it. So head over to Google and then just search for Drive. You'll then see Google Drive sign in. Click on that and it will take you to the Google Drive window. Now bear in mind, you are gonna to need to be logged into Google for this. So choose your account. I'm just on a burner account and you can then start to share your files. Now we need to get these files uploaded to Google Drive. So go new, go file upload then go and find your file. So here is my file. I've located the zip file, which we can click on and we can then click on open. Now that's going to upload this zip file to Google Drive. And depending on how big it is, it might do this really quick or really slow. It also depends on your internet connection. But once you've got the file uploaded and it's upload complete, you can then go to my drive on the left and any file you'll see it in my drive. So here we've got the files.zip file. Now we can share this with someone else by right clicking on it. Then you can go share and then click share again. Now you've got two options. You can either invite someone to this file and it will then send them an email with a link that they can click on. Or you can just get the link and send it to them via any messaging service. If you wanted to invite them via email, then type in their email here. So let's just say I'm inviting myself via an email. So I will type in an email. We can then click send. Make sure you choose if you want them to view, comment, or be able to edit the file. That will then send them an email and they will then be able to access the file. If you just want to do it via a link though, right click, go share, share again. And the only thing you need to change here is change it from restricted to anyone with the link. Now, if it's unrestricted, you can click copy link. You can send them the link via any messaging service, but when they try and access the file, if this here is unrestricted, it will send you an email and ask you if you're sure you want to let them in and you'll have to approve it every time. But if you just change it to anyone with the link, if you only share this link with the person that needs to have it, then they'll be able to just access the link and see the files anytime. So that's how you can do it. I hope that helped.